Hi, Dad. Have you had a conversation with your daughter about sexting? Sexting. Text and suggestive images. Images of who? Your daughter. Sent by who? Your daughter. Sent to who? Probably her boyfriend. And it seems so casual, seems so easy. She texts to him all the time. He texts back. He says, oh, I just want to see you again. Send me a picture. She said, of course. Boom, here it comes. It's that quick, that easy. That's communication these days. I mean, we used to have to be on the phone with a cord at home, dial up. They've got to be there. Now it's instantaneous anywhere, any place, which is one of the problems. How does it get there? World Wide Web. The world. Anybody who wants to can get that information once it's sent to them. How is it sent? Very easily. Click. Boom. Now he's not her boyfriend anymore. And he sends it to his friends. To a list. And then it goes. And it's a permanent record because once it's out there, even if she deletes it, he deletes it, it's gone. So men, much of this conversation is the idea that there are consequences with this. What about child pornography? Some police departments are involved in this. They probably didn't think about that. What about the fact that there are other people and predators who are looking for this kind of thing? Didn't think about that. The real thing, it seems like it's so innocent, that it's so easy, that it's not going to be a problem. Why, Dad, why, are you sorry? why would you even care? Well, part of it is she is presenting herself in a way that she might not, at least in your opinion, be most favorably. And so it needs to be the, the situation where she needs to be modest. And there's no reason to put herself out there on the World Wide Web. There was an episode in Blue Bloods recently where a couple of teenage daughters, the teenage character in there, got a text. Everyone in her class got a text from someone. They didn't know who it was, a, a text, sext. And so what happens is, as it turns out in the show, it was actually the girl her, herself who sent the text out on herself because she wanted to be popular, be more popular. And so the situation is all of a sudden it was broadcast all over the school. She did it herself. And then they were laughed about, laughed about her and laughed her. And it was just, it was bad. It wasn't good. So the situation is it seems so easy, but it can have dire consequences. So it's another one of the things, Dad, that I think you need to take the lead on. And by bringing it up and acting like it isn't there doesn't help. This is going to happen. Data would suggest that 20% of teens, teenage girls, have sent provocative images of themselves over the internet. I think you need to know. I think you need to ask. I'm not trying to scold you, but if you can at least have the terms, come in front of her and say, you know, daughter, if this is a problem or you're thinking about this, maybe we should just have a conversation and talk about it. Because there's a lot of things that we don't want out on the World Wide Web for anyone who wants to look or send or post concerning your daughter. This is important, guys. Thanks for stopping by.